With more than 4 million residents, Harris County is the most populous county in the state of Texas. The county had first deployed a traffic signal preemption system in 2007, but in August 2017, Hurricane Harvey ravaged parts of Texas and Louisiana, flooding or damaging a quarter of its 280 intersections. In the wake of this devastating storm, a consortium of seven emergency service districts, or ESDs, with a history of collaboration came together to upgrade Harris County's priority control technology from its aging legacy system to a cloud-based centralized solution. The now eight neighboring communities worked together to promote mutual aid strategies in the case of multi-alarm fires and other emergencies. This ensures that response conditions will be consistent for fire and EMS personnel. It's uh, very important that as we go into our mutual aid territories, that we continue to get the same traffic preemption that we do within our own area. Ultimately, they chose to implement Opticom emergency vehicle preemption and purchase the solution through a subscription-based model known as Opticom Priority Control as a Service, or PCAS. PCAS offers deployment flexibility. Whether cities want to leverage their existing technology for an infrared, radio-based, or centralized preemption solution. It also prevents technological obsolescence, a real concern for agencies in this rapidly advancing digital age. With the previous solution, none of the agencies involved wanted to be responsible for maintaining the system. The subscription model puts the responsibilities for making repairs and upgrading technology on global traffic technologies. With the subscription solution, it's technology protected because you pay a subscription and then as technology evolves, you get the, the latest, greatest. As far as software updates, you get hardware updates. If the system becomes completely obsolete, well, it's the responsibility of the subscription provider to make sure that your equipment stays up and running. The centralized system is particularly scalable, so cities can start small, and if it goes well, add vehicles and intersections accordingly. After they saw how it worked in preempting intersections in our area, they've now subsequently added intersections to their district, and their neighbors now are looking at implementing Opticom because they now see how the neighboring agencies. So it's kind of been sort of a domino effect. I'm gonna say over 90% of the ESDs in Northwest Harris County will have Opticom probably within the next two years. Harris County exemplifies how a cooperative, multi-agency approach can make financial sense and benefit multiple communities that want to make smart, safe technology investments that last. The Opticom package has just been a phenomenal replacement for what we had, and I wish we would have done it sooner.